I'm Hunter. I'm your host for all things meat and liquor related. Welcome to Zero Meat 30. Tomorrow we're making my personal favorite. The Boston Butt. So we're gonna get it marinated, soaking overnight, and ready to smoke first thing in the morning. But first, before we can get this thing marinated and soaking, we need a cocktail. All right, so we have our cocktail. We have 1792 uh, bottled and bond on the rock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to drink this cocktail. We're gonna get our Boston butt prepared and ready for our smoke tomorrow. So I like mine sweet and vinegary. Vinegary, sweet and vinegary is how I prefer to have my Boston butt and prefer to have to be moist and falling off the bone. Personal preference. If you'd like dry Boston butts, that's your own thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up some sugar, vinegar, um, apple juice, etc. We're gonna put that on the stove and we're gonna dissolve all that sugar. Then we're gonna inject that into our Boston butt. Maybe do a little rub on the outside of some more sugar. Uh, whatever we feel like putting on there, then we're gonna stick it in the fridge. Then tomorrow, we're gonna wake up, we're gonna take that Boston butt, let it sit out for a little while, and then we're gonna put it on our smoker for a couple hours, to be determined. But we're gonna put it on there for a couple of hours. Stay tuned to find out how long we put it on there. This is Jeremy 30, we're making a Boston butt. So we're waiting on that to boil. I'm out of beverage. Okay, I'll get some more beverage. This is an important tool when it comes to Boston butts and various other activities. Invest in a good one. It'll last you a long time. Don't get a plastic one. The plastic one is just a waste of time. This one is from Charbroil. It does what it needs to do. It's tasty. It's, wow, somebody keeps drinking my bourbon. This is going down. Quick. Welcome to Zero Me 30. This is me waiting on water to boil. Did you know that salt is a meat tenderizer? Do you know what that means? That means that salt makes meat tender. I'm just here providing public service, okay? So this is a 10 and a half pound Boston butt that I got at Greike's Meat Market. It's a new place here in Birmingham. This Boston butt was, uh, he had it in the back and it was cheap. It was so freaking cheap. The whole meat market was very, very cheap. I would highly suggest going to Greike's Meat Market. There is one catch and that is some of the stuff is frozen. So if you have a big piece of meat like this, you may want to give it some time to thaw. So don't go plan on buying something large like this and expecting to throw it right on the smoker because that's not going to happen. Now we had some small little sections of Boston butts that you could do that with, but not the whole Boston butt. I'm not trying to smoke a half a Boston butt. Come on. So we're going to take our 10 and a half pound Boston butt. We're going to put it on this big red bowl. We're going to put it right here. We're going to inject this boiling hot mixture all into this bad boy. Then we're gonna cover it with some salt, some more brown sugar, because I love brown sugar and I love salt. Then we're also going to cover it with this Grillmates brown sugar bourbon. Some people say that this is a cop-out. 
screw off. I'll do what I want. It's got sea salt, brown sugar, other sugars, other spices, molasses. Who doesn't love molasses? It also has bourbon whiskey. I'll drink to that. So this is a 10 pound Boston Buck. Beautiful piece of meat here. This is the fat side. It's very obvious which side is the fat side. And this is gonna be very important tomorrow. We need to know which side is our fat side tomorrow. Right now we're gonna take our fat side, we're gonna put the fat side down so that we can inject our mixture into this beautiful piece of meat right here. Washing my hands. You know the um, Cooking Network lady, Sandra Lee, and she's like, two shots of vodka. I feel like that, but with bourbon. You're bourbon cooking host. Welcome to Not The Food Network. We have everything we need. We have our Boston butt, we have our mixture. Our mixture is now cool. We have more bourbon. We will never run out of bourbon. That is a key factor to Boston butts. Never, ever run out of bourbon. So what we're gonna do is take our injector. We're just gonna suck up a big load pull. And we're gonna start injecting into the Boston butt. But you wanna stick it in there you're going to slowly pull out, and while you slowly pull out, you want to slowly push down on your thing here so that we're filling this Boston butt full of our mixture. I'm not going to say that your Boston butt depends on this, but it will make the world of difference to your Boston butt. You can see the Boston butt swelling up. That's what we want. We want this thing full. We're shooting for about 15%. We want this to take in all this juice that we're shooting in and expand to about 15% bigger than it was when we started. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour on the rest of this mixture that we've got. Anything that's not dissolved, which is all that pepper, it's just gonna sit right there on top. It's gonna be nice. Then, back to my favorite, of course, kosher salt. Salt's a tenderizer. So we're just gonna cover this thing in some salt here. Salty. It's all gonna, don't worry about it being salty. It's gonna bake out. You're not gonna taste it being super salty. Then our cop out here, brown sugar bourbon. We'll put some more of this on tomorrow too, but we're just gonna let all this soak in tonight. And then, of course, a little more brown sugar. A little more brown sugar never hurt nobody, except people with diabetes. Hey, if you've got diabetes, you probably should not eat my food. I just, just don't, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea at all. But you, what you can do, you can drink my bourbon. All right, so this is complete for tonight. We have our mixture uh, injected in. We have it soaking in. We have our salt and brown sugar on top. So we're gonna put this in the fridge. We're gonna let this sit overnight. And then we're gonna take it out tomorrow and we're gonna hit it with some smoke. So we injected our Boston butt last night. It's been sitting in the fridge all night long. I just took it out of the fridge. It's sitting out on the counter, just letting it warm up just a little bit to take the chill off of it. I'm gonna get my fire started and ready to smoke, and then we're gonna throw that Boston butt on there and smoke it up. I'll post another video on how I like to light my fires in my Vision Kamado style smoker.
So while we're waiting on the smoker to heat up here and get ignited, I'll talk a little bit about the other things that we're gonna do. Uh, first off, we're gonna have a vapor pan in smoker with us. As usual, today I'm gonna be going with apple juice because I want that sweet apple flavor. I'm not gonna do beer today, I'm not gonna use water, just solely apple juice. Now, and when we put this Boston butt on the smoker, it's very important that we put the fat side that we talked about last night up. Very important. So what you do is you put the fat side up and that fat, as we're smoking, that fat breaks down and all that juice starts going through the Boston butt, keeping it moist through the entire smoke. So we're gonna make sure and we put our fat side up when we put it down on the smoker. Third, as soon as we put this Boston butt on the smoker, we're gonna put some more spices on it just to, in case any of them washed off in our mixture that we had it soaking in last night. The one thing that I really like about my vision is just this uh, starter slot. It only takes about 10 minutes. All you have to do is stick your electric starter in there and wait 10 minutes and you're good to go. This is literally the easiest Kamado style grill that there is to light and it is fantastic. I've been very happy with my vision so far. I'll do a vision review here soon and uh, I'll do another video on how I like to build my fire inside here. All right, so our fire is now good to go. We're gonna go ahead and remove our electric starter and try and dial this temp into where we want it for the next eight hours. Next is we're going to add in our lava rock, basically our heat deflector, our smoking stone. We're gonna put in our grates. We're gonna try and get that temperature right where we want it. As well as we're gonna add in our Weber iGrill 2 digital uh, thermometer. Right now we're just gonna go off of ambient temperature and later we'll add in a probe into the Boston butt and monitor its internal temperature. that time we have great smoke we have great temperature we have our great Boston butt we're gonna go ahead and put our Boston butt on here and let it start getting some smoke All right, so we've been on the smoker now for about three and a half hours. We've been holding our temperature pretty firm at about 240 degrees inside of there. We've had great smoke. I have not opened it to look at it or anything like that. When we hit the four hour mark, I'm gonna open this smoker and we're gonna spritz some apple juice on the outside of this butt just to help keep it a little bit moist. And we're gonna measure our internal temperature of the Boston butt. When it gets to about 160 degrees, what we're gonna do is we're gonna spritz it with some apple juice again. We're gonna wrap it up in some tin foil and we're gonna leave it on the smoker until our internal temperature reaches 205. Now when it reaches 205 degrees Fahrenheit, we're gonna take it off the smoker and we're gonna let it rest for about 30 to 45 minutes. After that rest period, it's good to eat. Now in that rest period, it's very important one, it's going to be too hot for us to tear apart and cut up anyway at 205 degrees internal temperature. So we, we want it to cool off. We also want it to make sure it gets all those juices sealed in. If you take a hot piece of meat and you cut it in half, all those juices just come right out of it. And then you just have this semi-dry piece of meat. So what it's going to do is it's going to seal itself up and any juice that comes out of that Boston butt, it's going to start soaking back up and then it's going to seal it in. So it's very important that we have the rest period with not only this Boston butt, but with every piece of meat that we cook. All right, we have reached our 200 degrees. We're wrapped here, we're in a pan because we were leaking juices. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this Boston butt off of the smoker. Even though it's not smoking, it's just baking. And we're gonna let this rest for about 20 minutes. And we're gonna let all those juices soak back into the butt. 
and then we're gonna start pulling this butt apart and serving it. So overall, the Boston butt turned out fantastic, exactly the way we wanted it. We ended up smoking it for a total of nine and a half hours, and that gave us that very tender pull-apart Boston butt, which is what you want. You should never need a knife on a Boston butt. If you're having to cut up your Boston butt and slice it, maybe my personal preference, but that is not a good Boston butt. So just to recap what we did, we injected that Boston butt the night before and we let that soak overnight and soak in those juices. It was really help us keep moist throughout that whole smoke process and give us that good flavor that we wanted. We put it on a smoke over hickory wood and lump charcoal and we let that smoke until it got to 160 degrees. At that point, we squirted some apple juice on it. We wrapped it up in tin foil and we left it in there until it got to about 199 in some parts, 205 in some parts of the butt. Doesn't, it's kind of personal preference and it's gonna vary through different parts of the Boston butt, but you wanna get at least 200 degrees on your butt. Too much more and you're gonna dry out, but you wanna to get to that 200 and that's really gonna keep it that tenderness and that's when the bone's really gonna come out. If you liked this video and you wanna see more of my at-home style of cooking, go ahead and follow the Zero Me 30 YouTube channel.